Okay guys, what's going on? Yeti here. This is not the kind of video I make, but I wanted to make it because I was so frustrated with this fucking game. This is about Grey Zone Warfare. I'm sure you've seen it. If you've been on PC gaming, you've seen it around a while, but this game runs like shit. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because I have a top of the line gaming system. Okay, I have, I'll, I'll try and remember to put a link and maybe even a card up in the top uh, left or right of the screen, whatever it is, <clears throat> to show the system that I have. Um, and there's a video of me building it. The only thing I changed out is the AIO and the fans. Everything else is the same. This game, I, I have a 7800X3D that's running, that was running at five gigahertz, a 4090, an overclocked 4090, and 32 gigs of 6,000 theoretic RAM, and it's all running on M.2 SSDs, and I could not get it to run at 120 FPS. Okay, I could barely get it over 100. This was fucking ridiculous. I recorded this and then a couple other games that I'm gonna show you for a comparison. <clears throat> and I, I'm gonna show you here, but as you can see, um, I started off later in the recording because this is where I, I started recording and then I kind of remembered to show the settings afterwards. But I was playing at 4K. Um, I had to play full screen. Another thing I want to say about this game, it wouldn't let me play uh, borderless window mode 4K, so I, I refunded it the first time. And then the second time, I, I bought it again because one of my friends was like, you, you should go ahead and give it a chance. So I did. And I was like, fuck it, I'll just play it full screen uh to get 4k because if i played it at uh windowed it wouldn't go to 4k i don't remember what resolution it would go to but it wasn't 4k <clears throat> but these are the settings i had it on frame limit is 240 because i have a 240 hertz monitor um the background limit is 60 that's how i always said it and look everything is low all the shit's low motion blurs off and i had dlss on ultra performance okay I just want to show you this. <clears throat> All right, and I had NVIDIA reflex latency on. I did not have frame generation on because I didn't want that on. But I had DLSS on ultra performance and the entire game was on low. But look at the frames I was getting. Look at that. Um, I'll probably zoom in on it in the recording, but I can barely hit 100 FPS. The sound is muted, by the way, because I was watching YouTube videos when I was playing this. That like that right there, that was not a stutter. That that wasn't the video freezing. That was an actual stutter. You can look at the frame graph right here. That tells you like if it's smooth, that means that there's no frame drops. If it's if there's lots of spikes like this, that means that there's a time when a frame dropped and it went back up. So every time this spikes, like when it freezes, that is not the recording having an issue. That is the game actually just fucking freezing. Like right here, wherever it was. Right there. That's not the video freezing that it just straight up stuttered. You can see all the stutter on the, the map and look at my terrible FPS here. <clears throat> like this shit is awful. And like I said, overclocked 4090, 7800 X3D. And it's, it's on low with it, it. All the settings were on low and it's got DLSS says ultra performance. Look at that. And then let's try and get into where I get some combat. Like, Jesus, man, like I'm not expecting to hit 240 hertz on this. And I want to say DLSS ultra performance in this game does not look very good, but I knew that that was going to happen. Um, I, I didn't test it again because I just refunded it after I recorded this. I refunded the game, but I just had to show this. Like, look at that frame time and look at the graph. The graph isn't too bad here, but it's still so spiky. It's not smooth at all. And that frame rate is so low. And like I said, my 700XG is running at five gigahertz, the fastest it can run. <clears throat> my 4090 is overclocked uh, by 100 on the core clock and by 1500 on the memory clock. And yeah, you can see like I'm doing some shooting here and shit. And it's just, my God, man. Like, what did you, I have a top of the line gaming rig. So I can only imagine what someone else is going through if they have to play on like a even just like a 4070 or something which is also a great card one of my friends has a 4070 build and he i don't think he's played this but i'm just imagining what it's like on his i also was watching a guy named z worms if you're watching this video you probably watch him um but he does like testing and stuff and 
this game runs like shit. And I'm going to bring up some other games so I can compare it to for you guys. Okay, guys, this is Helldivers 2. This game looks way better and is just way more enjoyable to me overall. And I wanted to show this game for comparison. This game I actually have running on higher settings. These are them. So, yeah, I'm running it on uh, 4K, have it on DLSS performance mode or render scale. Before. I'm assuming that that's DLSS. I'm not quite sure. Uh, borderless windowed mode. I didn't have a frame rate limit because it caps at 144 and I have a 240 hertz monitor. So I want to try and as many frames as I can. I did cap it in the NVIDIA control panel, though. <laughs> but yeah, I have most of them off and then I have it medium. Or it's custom. Some things I have high, some things I have ultra. Um, so yeah, these are the settings I have just so you could see it. <clears throat> and then let's try and skip ahead to when I'm actually playing. Don't mind my skill. <laughs> it's not a video about my skill. But look at that frame rate. That is so much better. And look at that graph, man. 150 FPS and uh, the, the line smoothing. Like this shit is so much smoother. Like I said, don't mind my skill. <laughs> I was just, uh, I do think Helldivers 2 is a fun game too, uh, despite the, like, I know the whole Sony thing, but I just wanted to record this just to compare it to, to that game. And then someone else streamed my game here, but yeah, I, 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 no, I, I definitely didn't die at all. But look at that frame rate, man. It's so nice here. I'm trying to find a part where I'm playing. <laughs> Yeah, see, look, even in the action, I get about 110 to 130 FPS, <clears throat> even in the action. So like, and that framed, that frame time graph is so smooth. I just don't understand how Grey Zone Warfare, f like, I get it. You know, maybe it's like a, it's an indie dev. I'm assuming I, I really didn't even check to who developed the game. Uh, all I know is that, my God, that game runs like shit. I'm going to pull up two more games. It's Overwatch 2, which I play quite a bit. Don't judge me. I've been playing it since it came out, and I just, I don't play it as much, but I still enjoy it. And then Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, because that's another game that I think is very similar to it. So I'm going to pull those games up as well. Okay, this one, I don't, I tried to go through, I don't think I ever actually paused and pulled up the menu, but basically I'm on here, I'm running it, um, I have DLSS on performance, I think, and then I think I have the graphics on either balanced or low, I think. That's usually what I play it on. I think I have the... No, I think I have the graphics on low and I think the LSS balance, but either way, I'm still getting, look at this. I'm getting almost a full 240 frames that my monitor can handle. And that frame graph is smooth. And this game looks so much better. I do want to say with the LSS, I, I definitely can notice the, uh, actually, no, I think the LSS is on performance here. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry. I, I forgot to pause it while I was recording. I just recorded this like right after the Helldivers 2 thing to try and get some of that. But yeah, look how smooth everything is up here so many more frames this frame graph is so smooth like it's just so nice and i just man um like i said don't mind my skill i do want to say with dlss in this game i definitely can tell like come with dlss on like balance versus performance or ultra performance i've tested them out and man dlss on ultra performance and performance looks bad like not as bad as great zone warfare and it still performs way better but it does like i i don't know if you can see it but there's like little whenever there's like a explosion or bullets it just it looks really jaggy i guess i don't really know how to describe it but yeah it's it's kind of um a little bit odd but that's to be expected when you use dlss especially harsh dlss like i'm doing here in order to get up to 240 frames um <clears throat> it just it has some like really jaggy parts i am playing on 4k all of these uh because i mean i have a 4090 of course i'm gonna play at 4k but yeah so I just wanted to show you this one too, that I'm hitting like close to 240 in Call of Duty. Now this is a small map thing too. I think if I went to a larger map, like if I was playing uh, Domination or something, it probably would lower it, but I don't think it would lower it that much. I don't think, um, <clears throat> but I just, I had to show this one as well <clears throat> because this shit is fucking ridiculous on how well these games run. And like I said, I. I get that it, it might be an indie dev. I'm not sure who made Grey Zone. I'm assuming it is. But either way, I feel like it should not run that poorly. I'm going to bring up the last one to bring up is Overwatch 2. Um, because like I said, that's just the game I play a lot. And that. Um, I know that one has probably less in common. Grey Zone Warfare is something like Call of Duty or Helldivers does. But I still want to bring it up just 
because why not? It's just another game that I recorded while I was playing. Okay, and this is some Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2, though, it's a super easy game to run, even at 4K. Like, I'm easily hitting the 240 hertz that I have. I mean, not right here, but like, oh, yeah, I wasn't hitting the 240 hertz here because I was recording. That's another thing, too, is that my frame rate was a bit lower when I'm recording because it's like normally I'd be hitting the 240 easy and my GP would only be at like 80% usage. But because I'm recording, it's it's lower than 240, but it's still really high refresh rates, really high frame rate um, and stuff. But even like a game like this, this game actually performs about the same as a, I, I think the, this game, I do have it. I am using DLSS, but I, I, I think I have it like on ultra or epic settings, like the highest settings it can go. Um, which I know normally people don't do on games like this, but I just like it to look at least a little pretty. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, this is a game where I, I, I've been playing Overwatch 2 a bit. And I, I just wanted to compare Grey Zone Warfare to a, to a bunch of games just to show you how badly it performs. Even, like I said, I have a top line system and it still performs badly. So, uh, shit, I just can't fucking believe it. Okay, but yeah, that's where the video is going to end. It's a short video, but I just had to do a little comparison to show you how terribly that game runs on my system. Um, I shouldn't have to, like... Sure, it would run better if I lowered it to 1440p, but I shouldn't have to do that on this system. Like, like I said, I have a top of the line system, so I can only imagine what people who don't have my specs are having to go through to play this fucking game. Um, and it also depends on what frame rate you get. Like for me, I want at least 120 FPS whenever I play a game like this. And if I can't even get that, especially for a game that doesn't even look that good to me, like. It doesn't look that good. And when I use DLSS like that, it's like the distance starts to look really bad and it starts to look really fuzzy. You probably noticed that while I had it going. I just, I don't know. I just want to say, even if you have a top of the line system, even if you have a 4090, you're not safe in the game. Maybe that was playable for you, but keep in mind, my 4090 is overclocked. I have the, the best gaming CPU right now. And um, everything, it was on low settings with ultra performance DLSS. And I still couldn't hit 120 FPS. That is fucking ridiculous. Um, but anyways, I just had to make this just to just to put it out there. Um, I'm sorry <laughs> if, if this is a downer for you, but I just I felt like venting and I'm going to vent to you guys about it and show you. I would say if you're thinking about picking up this game, don't right now. OK, coming from a person who has great specs in my system, don't do it. All right. Um, <clears throat> it just. I just don't think it's worth it. So anyways, hopefully you have a great day. Uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, yeah, see ya.